Hey everybody, and welcome back to Tip of the Week. This week I've got a question for you. If I were to take this dinosaur and put it in my front yard, would that be a violation in my association or not? Stay tuned to this Tip of the Week to find out. You think that question's ridiculous? Stuff like that happens all the time. Check this out. My name is Blake Sanford and I am the Association Coordinator here at Property Management Inc. where we make property management manageable. Now, back to the dinosaur. Is that a violation or not? Well, it depends, doesn't it? And even if it is a violation, you're not just going to send off a fine willy-nilly because you think you should. So, I've got a couple of things written down here that will help you when you're dealing with associations, violations, board members, homeowners, right? There's just a whole mess of things. And so let's try and organize that here. Don't just send fines. Even if something in the association is going on and it is in violation with the governing documents, you're not just gonna send out a fine, right? You are hired as a property management company to come in and work as what I call a glorified secretary to the board. And that's all you are. If the board says, hey, Blake, we need you to send out a fine because they've got a T-Rex in their yard, then guess what? I'm going to send out a fine. If the board says to me, hey, Blake, we know about it. It's under control. Don't send out a fine. Then I'm not going to send out a fine. It makes my job very easy. So follow the board's direction in all things. Um, that, that is just you know, the end all of everything is follow the board's direction, especially with violations. Last thing I have here, homeowners don't always know the rules, and that's true. They may have lived in the association for 20 plus years, and they think they've got it on lockdown, and they know everything that's going on, and so when the old lady calls and says, ah, Jerry, you know, the T-Rex in his yard, get, get that out of here, that, that can't be in here. Well, guess what? Maybe it can be in there. And just because things have been a certain way with her and the way that she portrays it doesn't mean that that's the way it really is. We can always refer to the governing documents to tell us what is a violation, what is not. So, there are lots of associations out there that need good property managers. You guys can do it. But there are a lot of things that, that play into it. And we here at Property Management Inc. have the tools that allow people to manage associations successfully. So if you'd like to know more about our tools and our systems and the things that we do to manage associations, please visit doubleyourdoors.com and register for what every property manager must know to double their doors under management. Thanks for watching. Uh, tune in, comment below, ask questions. We're totally here to help you. Um, thanks, and uh, we'll see you next week.